Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So I recently came across this pod. I thought it was super cool and wanted to show you guys. Basically, it allows you to create this cool confetti animation in less than 10 seconds. And I'm serious that like, it really is that fast. So I'm gonna show you, I actually use it in my own application. It's, it looks something like this. I'll probably put something something right there. Um, and yeah, it, it's, it's fast, it's quick and easy. I'm gonna link the actual pod. Um, it, it's hosted on GitHub um, down below. And so you guys can check it out for yourselves. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Here I am in the SA Confetti View GitHub page. And basically, we're going to be using Cocoa Pods today. And I've used Cocoa Pods in my past videos, so if you guys have seen any of those, I challenge you to pause the video right now and try to do this on your own. This is ultimately the only way you're going to get better as a developer. And knowing how to create a pod file and installing different kinds of pods is, is super important. If you're a new viewer, no worries. I'm going to go through all the steps right now. So I'm going to open up Xcode. I'm going to create a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view app. I'm going to say confetti animation. Save it to my desktop. Cool. I'm going to go into my main project right here. I'm going to right click it and say new file. I'm then going to scroll all the way down and click this empty file. I'm going to name it pod file and make sure that you name it exactly this with a capital P. Create. Now we're going to type target. The name of your project, in this case I named mine confetti animation. Do. Use frameworks. And then pod as a confetti view. We're going to command save and now navigate into our product directory and terminal. So cd desktop, cd confetti animation. You should see that pod file pop up. That's a good sign and, and probably means you did everything right. And now we're going to run pod install. If everything goes right, you should see this nice little success message. It says pod installation complete. There's one dependency. We're going to close out of this screen and now open up our XE workspace. So you see this new file that just got created for us with an XE workspace. We're going to double click that and you'll see our pods with nice in there. Um, so I guess we're going to build this. So yeah, I guess these po this pod was outdated at the time of this video. So there are a few little changes we need to make. Nothing, nothing too crazy though. So we're just going to click on this. And for the most part, we're just going to be doing exactly what they tell us to do. First, make sure you unlock the file so we can edit it. And then we'll just be clicking fix. I might fast forward through this part because it's pretty straightforward. Um, fix. 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 The type has been renamed to path. Okay. Sounds good. Um, this is content of. This is going to be four, and this is going to be as data. Is that everything? Awesome. So that built. Um, and that was the hard part, guys. So now all we have to do is go to our viewcontroller.swift. We're going to import the pod we just installed, which is the SA confetti view.
we're going to say let confetti view equal sa confetti view. We're going to pass in frame, which is going to be self.view.bounds. Make it fill up the whole screen. And why not? Oops, it's full frame. Now. Why can't you load the module Xcode? All right, there we go. All right, so that's good. And then let's go back to the GitHub page actually real quick. I want to show you. So you'll see that this, this pod actually has a lot of different options, which is cool. Um, they have different confetti types. So you can have triangles, stars, diamonds, and you can actually import your own custom images. You can also change the colors and intensity. So there's, there's a whole whole lot of stuff you can do with it. Um, for now, I, I, I'm going to go with diamonds are always nice. So let's go with diamonds. So I'm going to say confetti view dot type is equal dot diamond All right. cool and then we're going to say view dot add this this view we just created which is the confetti view and lastly guys we're just going to say confetti view dot start confetti and that's it let's let's see if this runs Come on, come on. All right, and there you see we got our nice little diamonds just floating through the sky. And there you have it, guys. That that is SA confetti animation. I hope, I hope this you can use this in your own projects, and I hope. I've brought you guys some value today. If, if you like this video, please subscribe. I try to post videos almost every other day, and I'll see you guys soon.